Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and in this video I'll be talking to you about the best monitor sizes for gaming. Now before we dive too deep into the nitty gritty, monitor size is measured diagonally just like TVs. So a 22 inch display will actually be about 18 inches wide and 10 inches tall. And in comparison, a 24 inch display will be about 20 inches wide and 12 inches tall. This may not seem like a lot, but there is a pretty significant bump in screen space for every few inches that you do get. There are a variety of gaming monitor sizes to choose from with manufacturers catering for every budget and environment. A common place to start is around the 22 inch mark, but gaming monitors can go all the way up to 49 inch ultra wide and this is before we even get onto gaming TVs. 24 inch monitors are the standard and mostly found with a 1080p resolution. You may also see some 1440p and even 4K 24 inch monitors out there but these aren't typically considered ideal for this resolution. It's usually 27 inch monitors that are seen with 1440p resolutions though occasionally you do see 1080p or 4K. 27 inch monitors are the norm these days with even the odd esports fanatics picking this up over the more sensible 24 inch. 32 inch monitors while still on the larger side still hold a place with some gamers. Uh, they offer a better viewing experience and are usually found with resolutions anywhere between 1080p to 4K. And most modern monitors have an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 although 16 by 10 is seen somewhat rarely but for the sake of this video we're just assuming that the monitors are going to be 16 by 9. However there is a recent influx of 21 by 9 monitors in the market of otherwise known as ultra wides. We've done a whole bunch of reviews on these types of monitors, but if you are a console gamer, please know that you are restricted to 16 by nine. So you're not gonna be able to take full advantage of that. So if you are in the market for an ultra wide for console gaming, just, just give up now. <laughs> I have had the absolute pleasure to test out some incredible ultra wide monitors lately. Take the Samsung G9, for example. Uh, honestly, the gaming experience for single player titles is just unrivaled. It really is an, it's just an immense experience, uh, especially racing games as well. Racing games in particular look their absolute best with an ultra wide. So getting a monitor with a high resolution it could make a lot of sense. It all just depends on the game you are playing. But as I said, we'll, we, will, we will touch upon that later. The thing is though, many modern FPS titles just won't support a horizontal FOV wider than 90 degrees. This is fine on a 16 by nine monitor, but on an ultra wide monitor, it can result in a stretch or distorted image. If you're playing competitively or playing primarily FPS titles, then you probably don't want to use an ultra wide display. Ultra wide monitors are in a shakier position at the moment when it comes to game support because a full implementation of ultra wide in a multiplayer game can often be seen as a unfair advantage due to being able to see a wider variety of the game. So yeah, that is something to consider if you are trying to buy an ultra wide for competitive gaming, the, the high chance is that you probably won't be able to find one that has the support. So we talked about the monitors on offer. Let's discuss now which one is the best for gaming. Now, of course, this is no surprise, but it is subjective and depends highly on what your sole purpose for the monitor is. But I'll start with 24 inch monitors. Now, these monitors I will always say are the best for competitive gaming at a 1080p resolution. You'll often find your favorite esports teams using monitors of this caliber, and it's also just a great starting point for those who are first time gamers with lower end builds. Now next is 27 inch monitors and at a normal viewing distance and a 1440p resolution, this would generally provide the best gaming experience that you can get. If you can run your games at native resolution on this display, you probably won't need to kick up anti-aliasing too much and you shouldn't experience any problems. Heading to 32 inch and whilst they do look good, the extra viewing distance required can potentially cause some eye strain depending on the games that you are playing. With gaming monitors of this size, you probably aren't going to be able to sit as close as you would with a 24 to 27 inch monitor. So just do be aware of that. We are encroaching on TV territory here, but in all honesty, a single player game has never looked better on a 32 inch display, especially in 4K. And finally for the console gang, if you are wanting to game at 4K, then honestly just get a TV. There are very few monitors right now that feature 4K and a HDMI 2.1 port which is necessary to drive 120 fps at 4k if you insist on having the highest resolution and the highest fidelity then you should look into getting a 45 to 65 inch 4k tv i recently picked up a 55 inch tv with full 120 hertz display and it, it's it's incredible so which one should you pick well at the end of the day like i said this is very subjective uh, if you are an up and coming esports player and want the fastest response time and competitive edge, then opt for the 24 inch monitor. However, do you love sitting back and playing a single player title at max fidelity and want the most immersive experience, then opt for a 32 inch or potentially even an ultra wide. All that being said, don't go buying large monitors with big resolutions unless you have the hardware to back it up. Before you do look into buying a higher res display, make sure that you have a system 
powerful enough to support it. So there you have it guys, our quick video on what monitor size you should get for gaming. If you need any actual monitor recommendations, our channel has a whole bunch of monitor reviews and recommendations for different resolutions and sizes and price points. So definitely go and check them out if that is of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, I would love if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you hit over there, that'll take you to another one of our videos that I think you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.